Yo, what's up, dudes? It's Pete Manzanelli. It's been about a month since we last checked in on my dear friend Tommy Dwans, which means it's time for an episode of Missing Tommy Dwans. Now, as you guys might remember, Okay, about a month ago, I went to Las Vegas, okay? I heard Tommy Dwans was going to be there playing some pokers at the Aria. I went, I sniffed around, I came up with nothing, but I was able to smell and could tell that he had been there. I'm smelling. I can smell Tommy Dwans. Tommy Dwans has been here. So I returned home from Las Vegas after that trip doing some reconnaissance. And none other than about a week later, there's an announcement on Twitter. My phone starts blowing up. It's Tommy Dwans is going to be returning back to the Aria. Talk about an emotional game of whack-a-mole. I was just there, came home, and now he's going to be there again. We are like ships passing in the sea. But anyways, my Twitter was on fire. Everyone's saying, yo, man, you got to check this out. And it's like, dudes, don't worry. I got notifications turned on for Tommy Dwans. It's going to be chill. We're going to see what's going down. But like I normally do, I guarded my heart. I let my spidey senses tingle because things are never how they seem. And of course, shady business was afoot because before he even set foot on the felt, Tommy Dwans announced he wouldn't be playing on day one. Now, he did end up showing up for day two. And who did he find when he sat down at the table? None others than his online nemesis. The jungle man's himself. And I found this to be a disgusting thing by poker. Go fuck yourself. To ambush my dear friend Tommy Dwans. A friend that is easily, easily spooked. Easily flustered. And to put this man that brings up so much emotion in my dear friend Tommy Dwans. To sit him across from him at the table. That was disgusting and sickening. Okay? And I will not be using your promo codes. And of course, Tommy Dwans clearly felt this way and was scared like a little kitty cat and spooked off because he did not return for day three on Poker Go Fuck Yourselves, okay? And I can't blame him, dude. Good for you, Tommy Dwans. You get out there. You don't deserve to be emotionally manipulated. Now, while all this was transpiring, something else was going on. It had involved the man's Pete Mans and Ellie, baby. I was on Poker Nights in America, as you probably know by now. It was a great event in Pittsburgh. We had very prestigious poker players like Philly Helmuth, like Dougie Polks, like Tonkas, Olivia Bousquet, Sean Dweebs. And the man's crushed it, dude. We crushed it. It was a great time. You can find clips to those on Poker Nights in America's YouTube page. I'll post a link below. But what I'm talking to you about today is during a half hour segment where the producers asked Dougie Polks and I to fill some time, I thought we were just gonna, you know, have some fun. And this is, of course, all before the One Chug Doug Man's phenomenon took place. This was before that. But Dougie Polks, as we sat down in those hallowed commentary chairs, asked me a question that completely took me off guard. I got a bone to pick with you here, okay? Uh -oh. I got a bone to pick with you because you follow one person on Twitter, right? One it's, person. You're gonna get me emotional right now. A single right person, right? You gonna do this and, right now? And and I don't believe that that's Philly Helmuths. I don't think it's Philly Helmuths. I think it's I think it's you know who it is. Now, when I do these videos, when I present my investigations and I tell you about my search, it's all businessmans. It's investigative mans. It's being unbiased. It's searching for the truth. But in that moment, Dougie Polks caught me so off guard that I had no choice but to wear the emotions of the man's on my sleeve and bear it all for you guys. It's Tom Dwans. Why are you getting sad? What's going on? Because he's my dear friend Tom Dwans and I don't know where he is. And that's why today, without any additional commentaries or edits, I'm going to present to you this footage so you know once and for all how much Tommy Dwans means for me. There's no facade. This isn't some joke. This is raw, uncut man's when the names Tommy Dwans are evoked. What I feel inside my heart of hearts. So you watch this clip and you tell me this is just all some bullshit that, okay? You watch that and try to tell me that's the case. Roll the, roll the tape. I think we found him, man. No, we didn't find him. I think we did. Did you? Did you? I've been messaging him. I've been looking for him. I oh, oh, I didn't know we were. I did. Did we? I thought we were gonna get some beers and have a good time, and you have to bring up Tom Twan. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We'll talk about Philly Helmuths. We'll talk about the Philly Helmuths. He just. I mean, I was worried about him. He was. He was in Macau, and he wasn't returning my calls or anything. And then he just surfaces in Vegas, and he's playing on this on this other he told, site. He told you though he was gonna be back, right? He told me he was gonna be back. He but he sends it through these elaborate means, and the messages are jumbled. And 
it's really hard for me. And then he just pops up here and there and it's like he doesn't even care about how I feel or like what we had. What did, what did you guys have? I mentored Tommy Dwans. Wow. Back, back in the late 2000s. Strong claims. I took him under my wing. I turned him into the no limit crusher that he is today. And, and now he, he vanished. And I don't, know, I don't know what happened with Jungle Mans, okay? All right, other than folding three tens, what a sucker. Uh, but I don't know what happened. And it kills me so much. And I just, if anyone knows, please hit me up on Twitter. It's at Pete Manzanelli. Please send me a tweet if you know anything about his whereabouts. Um, I really wish you wouldn't have brought him up, Doug. Okay. Thank you for watching, okay? And I'll tell you right now, that wasn't the first time I cried about Tommy Dwans, and it won't be the last, okay? I'm in too deep. I love him too much. And if you know anything, you need to let me know. And I will say, Mans fans are already coming out of the woodwork. They're sending me emails to the mans.69.420 at gmail.com. Okay? They're sending me tweets at Pete Manzanelli. If you know anything, keep your ears on the ground. Keep your eyes out. Okay? You let me know. Together, we will find Tommy Dwans. I gotta go. I gotta go.